This is our friend Runston Racer's Avant Utility Vehicle, or light tractor. It's pretty unique. It used to be a gas engine which broke, so rather than spending a ton of cash on a new gas motor, he chose to use his skills to convert to electric. The original controller blew a FET, so high voltage helped with the ASI back 4000. Some of you are familiar with Runston's work, and a few of you own his excellent 3D printed battery cases and packs. It's always a pleasure to collaborate with creative and inventive people. Links to his blog in the description. Following on from this will be how this build was accomplished in his own words, as well as some more footage of this beast in action. Cheers. And this is the machine that I used to clear the snow in the winter and do all, all kind of work on my property. It's a Avant 216, 16 horsepower, petrol, well, thingamajigger. It's got a snow bucket on there now. I've got a bucket for uh, dirt and a small excavator add-on. All kinds of stuff. Uh, this fall, uh, this piece of crap decided to seize on me. Uh, which made this machine utterly useless. Um, so I checked on a new one of these. Uh, it's about uh, 5,000 euros uh, plus tax, which is kind of expensive. And since I'm into building electric vehicles, uh, I decided to electrify this, this machine. Uh, so what I needed to do is, I needed to remove this petrol engine and uh, put an electric engine in instead, the motor. So I checked, uh, looked for replacement motors suitable for, for like a 16 horsepower equivalent and I decided to go with a 8 kilowatt uh, QS motor uh, with a bundled APT controller. It's supposed to be good for like 800 phase amps. Uh, so I built these battery packs in here. And these are two 48 volt batteries that are good for like 400 amps each. Uh, 30 amp hour uh, built from 21700 cells. Um, so there's a 130 cells in each pack, and they work pretty, pretty well. Uh, so the thing is, what I did to, to uh, build this machine, I kind of had to make a new motor mount down here. All there is to it is that this motor here that drives the belt. It goes under the platform. Oh, it's hard to see in the dark. And drives this hydraulic pump, and that's really all it does. So it's a super easy conversion. So I just had to make a new motor mount down here, uh, and make a few brackets to mount the batteries and all. And to do that, in any like stylish fashion, I had to build a CNC plasma cutter. I can see here, so kind of a quick build. Got more info on that on my blog, but it works pretty decent. So then you can do like whoa, nice uh, graphics like that. Uh, so I built this, uh, connected all the electrics to up here, put a uh, display for the BMS on there so you can check better status while driving it and after running like one full battery the APT controller crapped out so after dealing with QS motors and like trying to get this as a warranty replacement they give me two options either I could send this controller back a repair or I could uh, get a new one at half price. 
and since I already had the uh, uh, ASI back 4000 controller for another project I said that I'd try to use that on the machine and send this one back for repair but it turns out these ones aren't repairable so um, that wasn't really an option so I decided to take it apart and check out what's wrong with it and one of the faces has been shorted to better minus and that is due to a faulty MOSFET well you can't really see it in here but there's a MOSFET that's burnt out um, that's really nothing you can cause by like just connecting it and pushing 50 amps through it which I did so it's it's clearly a faulty unit from the factory but um, yeah so it's really hard when you get a Chinese controller like this and it fails you get to pay for a new controller that will probably fail in the same manner which doesn't feel so good so I contacted uh, Mr. Ridgely and Captain Godswap and they helped me to set this ASI back 4000 up uh, to use with the QS motor uh, the thing is it doesn't support 96 volts battery so I, I had to make a harness to connect these batteries in parallel instead uh, well this one is good for a little over 400 phase amps but since I'm pushing at a maximum 160 amps through it uh, it's really it's not it's not pushing the controller at all uh, the other thing that is an issue is that the QS motor has a uh, rotor encoder to keep track of the rotor position which the ASI controller doesn't support so I'm running it in sensorless mode right now and uh, this uh, ASI controller actually runs the motor better in sensorless mode than the APG crap over here does with the um, encoder uh, I haven't lost sync once using this controller so well that's pretty much it